All right. Hello, friends, and welcome back. It's Silk. I'm here again tonight with, uh, let's see, it's March 2023, and I've been playing a lot of games this week, but one of them I've been trying is Stationeers, and I played it with a good friend just the other day, and he built a base for me, so I'm going to show this to Falcon, one of my good friends, and also a friend of Zero who built this base. So let's go. Oh, I wanted to give NASA credit for this opening shot. This is the International Space Station. It is in low Earth orbit. And I understand they're having like a PR problem. And I would like to promote NASA and let everybody know I'm a big fan of NASA and thank them. And I hope they don't mind me using that. But on that, let's dissolve to the game. All right. I'm in OBS and I'm going to get into the game where I can control him. And I'm looking at off air to see if that dissolve happens. Okay, there's a lot of lag. My laptop's way behind, but I'm just gonna go forward and assume you're seeing this. I am inside, so what did I wanna tell you? So zero and me got together in Stationeers in multiplayer. And we did a mission on his server he hosted, and we started with just the ship. So, I'll look around this room, and I'm gonna kinda go slow, cause we're looking, we're doing some testing tonight to see if it's even working. So it'd be good to know if somebody could let me, if they uh, actually hear me and see me. Um, but I'll go slow and kind of pan around here, and I'm looking for compression artifacts now. Let's start over here. This is ground level, um, and I, I, I was going to show you the auto lathe, but let's go outside first, okay? And it's night out, which is not what I want to do. I need daylight. So for video and speaking of light, we can turn on the helmet light, and I've got a battery that's charged, and I have to worry about food and water too, so we'll keep an eye on that as I go around. This is the ground level floor, and me and Zero landed on this spot, and nothing was here. So, hopefully, that makes sense. And um, <clears throat> this is the, what I think of as, like, the workshop level. I guess it's a good place to start. Like, everybody, if you play Station you should start with the auto lathe here. And this one has been upgraded, I believe. You can tell by, like, the two fans. And what I like to do is uh, look at the software. I believe when you turn it on, like it boots and you get like a new screen. So this is like the upgraded version of the auto lathe, and that's uh, a popular one back here. I believe it's the pipe bender. It looks like it's been upgraded. And then over here, a big fan favorite is the electro printer. Now this does all the computers, electronics, um, and cables like three times faster than this guy over here. So this is where a lot, actually this is pretty much where everything got built. So next, I want to take you upstairs. And maybe the sun will come up. Let's see. We'll, we'll see upstairs what time of night it is. Okay, so if I look at the earth there, the sun will be coming up soon. That's good. And I'll slowly pan around the room and let me know if you have any questions about what anything is. Is it better if I explain it or just show it? This is basically the greenhouse up here. We need the sunlight for the plants, so there's uh, air conditioning for the plants. That's an additional tool making machine, so that's just kind of a good place for it. We're going to make some food here in a second. I'll show you how to cook. Um, and this is a waste tank, uh, and, and Zero has some brilliant um, ideas in the plumbing and the piping. But you can't see, it's all covered. So look at what he's done. I mean, there's an intricate network and I'll start in the daylight outside with like the power network and we'll come in and try to track it down and it's all covered. You can't, I can't follow it and show you guys at all. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I, my water's at 50% and my food's at 60 and, and why don't we eat something? I did start to grow tomatoes here. So Zero helped me with uh, the potatoes here, so we're going to cook a potato, but I planned, I made this uh, additional hydroponics. He wanted me to give him some updates as to what have I done. And um, what I did is made another hydroponics tub, I got water, and I planted tomatoes, and then when you grow one, you can spread it to two, and there's the sunrise. You see that? Isn't that pretty? So we got to hurry. Maybe we'll go downstairs and we'll go outside before we go to the basement. 
Um, but I need to eat, right? So I'm going to go to a potato plant here. Now zero will see this and see I'm doing it all wrong. Like both of these are like have one potato left. So when I take it, I could, oh, I got seeds, right? Is this seeds too? Yes, it is seeds. All right. And then I get two potatoes. So let's put the seeds over here. All right. I can hit a bit like a Q is what I hit to drop those. And I was going to show you, oh, you grab a plant and you can either do the seeds or I'll put the potato back and it'll, pr it'll sprout into a new plant. And this has two potatoes, so I can take one and let's eat it. And we got a microwave over here. And in a jiffy, ta-da, baked potato. So if you look at my health, I'm at 62. I'm consuming the potato. And I'm full. And we can put the potato away for a little bit later. Okay, now I gotta worry about water and we're gonna head outside. So any questions about the upper floor? That's a water tank, uh, assumably for uh, future expansions of hydroponics up here. We can have whole banks of plants and stuff, but right now um, I can analyze the atmosphere with this tablet. All right here. And you can put a bunch of different chips in it. And this one has the network analyzer where I was trying to follow power like on this cable see oh dude there it is the holy grail of all the information of the building i think like page one or ten things page two page three we're using like a kilowatt right now which isn't bad actually but i can track down in here where the kilowatts being used five pages 47 items so where is what are the high power users i found out they're like the flood the, the pressure valves down in the basement like 100 watts each. I'll see if I can find them. Yeah, right. Auto lathe is 100 watts. That must be the upgraded. Um, any other 100 watt ones you see there? They're not jumping out at me, but there you go. So that's what that is for electrical networks. Now, the, another chip, here's how you take your tablet and like change its function. Now it's an atmospheric analyzer. I'm gonna turn off my uh, light just so, it, and it's telling me that this room we're in here, it, the pressure it's important is 65 kilopascals. That's K. It, there's also megapascals, and the temperature is a brisk 24 degrees Celsius. And that's for the plants. That's the optimal growing conditions, which are found. I'll show you in the Stationpedia. You can type in potato here. Um, I probably didn't want the baked potato. I wanted the plant. Like here, I think, potato. And it tells you all of the optimal conditions, like minimum ideal is 20, maximum ideal is 30, so that's why zero set it to 25. And it tells you how much carbon dioxide the potato plant consumes and how much oxygen it puts out every hour how much water it uses, what will kill it. So all this information. I mean, that's what it Did you know this game is made by the same company that does Icarus? So it's the details. I mean, just look at all the details. So any questions about this room? So this is the greenhouse. This is the plants. This is the water. Uh, the cooking station. We've eaten. I'm at water's at 36. And again, I try not to swing it around because I know about the compression artifacts. My web browser is kind of frozen, so I'm going to refresh it real quick. This is kind of prime time on the West Coast, so my network may be clogged. What are the yellow pipes? The default pipe in the game is yellow. So if they're not... Oh, blue is water. Yellow's gas, but zero will have painted some later. I'll show you. You can paint the pipes, but when you put them down, they're yellow. Okay, my white laptop's working now, but cool. So yeah, that's up there. Um, it's out, out. We're on the ground floor again, so it's daylight outside. So a good time to go outside, right? 
This is an airlock, so it's taking, it was a vacuum in here, so it's taking gases from the building and pumping them in here. It should be pressure, oh, it depressurized. It sucked them all back and stored them. Okay, that's the ship we landed in. On a slow pan around, I guess, to show you that's an arc furnace that takes electricity and takes ore, like iron ore, and turns it into iron ingots. And I'll continue my pan around to solar panels that are tracking the friggin' sun. <laughs> you know? And the batteries, look at the power top off there. I had power issues, dude. And I put up eight panels. So, so zero started with two, I think. And I'm going to show you this beautiful circuit over here. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just a power from the bad. That, that's the main line coming in the building. And this is an APU, an area power controller, that's just tapping off the main line for power. That goes to this chip, power in. The chip just follows scripts, lines of code, right? If then else statements and stuff like that. And logic comes out of it, talking to anything on the network on this side of the APC. It's a logic isolator. This is a daylight sensor that's putting out angles and degrees of the sun. So Zero is taking the data from the sensor into a program that's tracking the sun. See it moving? With one friggin' chip! That's the beauty of it. It's like everybody else is using batch riders and and other stuff and it's just like dude i don't know what he did <laughs> but there it is everybody isn't it beautiful so i'm gonna fly around it right because i'm a better videographer when i'm flying like a jib So how about that? So there's the view. The sun's going down. I think it's time to go in. Again, this is a test. We're seeing how I sound, how I look. And this is what I'm doing. And thank you, Zero, if I haven't said it. I just think this is freaking awesome. So there's stuff I can't explain <laughs> here going on. And I could do another video, if you guys like this one, of my base and how I took what I learned here and applied it to mine. And it's like four times simpler. You know, just basic stuff. I barely understand it. Oh, so back inside, so now it's a vacuum again, and it's pumping air from the room through this vent into here, and the pressure's rising. We can watch the pressure rise. And the room's like at 50, right? We measured it before, like 50, 60. So when it equalizes, my visor's going to pop. Did I tell you I got a hard suit with a chip in it, so it's going to open my visor around 60. <laughs> There's my visor, and now the door opens at about 100, because it's the default there, lock. Um, Zero said you can program the advance to be smoother. So... And that's the upper floor, the outside, and this, any questions about this floor? We're going down now to the, so, so yeah, I watched him start here, and he went up to, and none of this floor is here, it was just, I, you know, the whole thing could have been a stream in itself, um, of just how he built the upper greenhouse, and then there was soil here, he burr, dug it, drilled it, mined it, what do you call it, out, with the mining tool, alright, so we're going down into the hole he dug. Now it gets dark down here, so I'm gonna use my light, right, for the camera. Okay, so so off the ladder, blank wall, blank wall, storage. You want to see a storage? Any questions about storage? This is where we all the stuff in the base went: food, wires, tanks, spares. Okay, here's something special. This is Zero's grave, right here. There's his head, his skull. He died. I'll show you the cryopod that failed, and his helmet, and all of his gear stored here. So when he returns, it will be here for him to claim and there's paint cans we told you you can paint the pipes and the wires and our old suits and yeah just any that's just all our stuff and this is a water tank from the water upstairs and did you hear that hydration critical i need to drink water it's 20 percent down there it's not immediately but let's go drink water it's upstairs
Okay, so this is good because the water tank's just below us there, right? The, I don't know what the blue vent is. Oh, he's venting off maybe the... When we melt water ice, you get some nitrous oxide. He wouldn't put that in here. It must be just like nitrogen. But there's the water bottle. So take a bottle and drink it. Consuming water bottle... Water in bottle. And that's it. I'm 99%. Then I put it back and it fills. And these are waiting for me... And then I'll close my mic and I'll point kind of over where I carry water around and I'll put the baked potato next to it. So my mic's pushed to talk just so when I need two hands, it closes the mic. Here's That's a nuclear battery right there. I just saw. That's, so that's an APC for the main line coming in. And it separates the whole logic of the building inside here. That, those five pages of items in here from the logic outside in the solar panels. Does that make sense? Um, and this is an ice crusher. This is where we get our water. You put ice right in there. And it crushes it up and stores it in the water tanks. But when you put ice, it, it kind of like cools them down. We have to worry about temperature and everything. And like, I killed the plants because my water was too warm. And the room was too hot, you know? And yeah, so all my plants died. And his are just doing so well. Okay, so now that water's good, food's good, the next thing would be a battery. I'll show you how we just put battery chargers on the walls. And this suit I'm wearing uses power to keep me warm, and pressure in the suit is a thing, and temperature of the suit is a thing. So I'm going to change batteries for the suit. There, that's better. You, and it, 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 that's what you have to learn. Like, you could take a battery and put it in an empty slot, and take the another battery and put it in your thing. But if you just put the battery on top of each other, they swap out. So it makes the game like twice as fun to play. Okay, so this was the storage. Not much else. There's some pressure gauges here, but I'll show you the tanks first, and then maybe we'll come back and they'll make more sense. So we're going down to where Zero died. This is kind of a sacred place. His, his body's been removed and cleaned up, but he like died right here by the cryopod. He was supposed to be in there and sub suspended animation when we saved the game. But when I loaded in, he was not in the cryopod. And since we weren't multiplayer, he didn't eat and he didn't drink and he, he's gone. So moment of silence. But what he left behind here in the basement is, first of all, mushrooms. Down here. Out of the light. Oh, light. <laughs> Oops. I don't want to hurt the mushrooms. Um, out of the light. Grow, what do they do? They take oxygen from the plants and turn them into CO2. Let's pull out our analyzer. Ta-da. Oh, so it's nitrogen. We got from nitrogen ice on the surface, and it comes with some NOS, and we do some filtering and stuff. I think the O2 came from oxide, and it might have something in it like nitrogen. And then the CO2 like literally came from our breath and we dumped our waste tanks in here. I can do that for you. Or these mushrooms produced what you're looking at. When I came here, none of this was here. And this is the CO2 tank and it was empty. Um, and the CO2 was like 7 and 8%. And I watched those mushrooms raise it to 10, right? Which is what the room is at here. That's because it's running a program. Um, zero took nitrogen and put it in the green tank. Let's go look at it one at a time. And I'll turn my light on over here because we're not looking at the mushrooms. So the green tank is nitrogen. Yes, can you see that on the tablet? N2, 100%, 3.5 kilomoles. And the pressure is 1.2 megapascals. So that's, I think this tank will hold like 60 megapascals. So that's not a lot, but it's enough to get started. And what it's doing is taking that nitrogen and and watching it like look when I look at the room and the nitrogen is 60% alright that 60% is in this programming chip right here that's controlling these three vents they're called passive vents that are fed by these controllers and you can sit here and watch them turn on and off there they are they're on they are actively mixing the atmosphere in here that we're breathing with my visor open copy that so the nitrogen came from nitrogen ice, filtered by this nitrogen filter. This is his brilliant idea of like a waste reservoir. 
all the waste gases in the plant go into the yellow pipe. This is kind of where your question of yellow pipe might be more interesting. That's the waste. That's when we do like an ice crusher, I believe it's dumped into here, like for the nitrogen, for nitrogen ice and the water, there vents some nitrogen gas that goes in the pipe. Maybe CO2 is coming from the mushrooms. O2 is coming from oxide. Um, and NOS comes with the nitrogen ice is in there. So this filter just takes the nitrogen out of the yellow pipe and puts it into the green tank, which then feeds everything, nitrogen. I can fill my propellant, which is nitrogen right here. I'll do that. Jetpack critical. Turn on the pump, which will set it to 5.9 megapascals. See it right there? Uh, we can set the setting of this pressure regulator into this tank, which currently isn't that high. So it's pumping now. Let's watch it fill. Pure nitrogen. It should stop at 5.9 megapat right there. We are done. You can do the same thing with your oxygen tank right there. So white here is oxygen. So the oxide went into the yellow pipe when it was ground. And this oxygen filter sucks out the oxygen and puts it in the tank now, which if I follow down here is now pure oxygen being vented into the atmosphere or fill my oxygen tank. The CO2 is coming from the mushrooms. How does it get into the yellow Somehow up there, there's vents that bring the CO2 into the yellow pipe. See, it's in there, and it's getting sucked into the tank by the filters. So we have CO2 if we need it. And that's it so far. I mean, there's a heater here following a logic circuit somewhere that if we lose power, it keeps the mushrooms from dying, right? Because they're a critical part of our atmosphere. And I think that's it. This is the end of the tour. The, the, the cryo tank was supposed to be fed by pure oxygen at a hundred kilopascals and it failed i've turned it off because of power consumption so i don't know but there it is i'll put down this i can store things in my jumpsuit i can store things in my backpack um all right i think that's about it so all any questions about the rest of that's the base that's the basement that's the whole thing i think you've seen it all and i'm gonna head back up so i'll turn out my light and uh my browser stopped working so i don't even know if i'm on the air or not but we'll stop the test now i want to thank everybody for watching and i'll see you next time